The stitches for the sunflower score and the calyx are the same, just that the colors are different. We'll demonstrate with green yarn. Please refer to the stitches, ignoring the yarn's color. The calyx start with a match cream. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Make a loop around your middle finger. Pinch the crossover of the yarn with your thumb and middle finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch and work six single crochets. Insert hook into the ring on the middle finger. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. The match cream is made. Now, one chain stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on hook. That's one chain stitch. Then work six single crochets. Insert hook into the match cream. Hook yarn and pull up a loop through the ring. There are two loops on hook. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's one single crochet. Place the locking stitch marker in the first stitch. Continue to finish the remaining 5 single crochets. Six single crochets are finished. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Then work a slip stitch in the first stitch, which is a marked stitch. Insert hook through this marked stitch. Hook the yarn and pull it through the stitch, and then pull it through the original loop on hook. That's one slip stitch. Remove the marker. Round 1 is done. In round 2, start with one chain stitch, and then work 6 increases. Now one chain stitch first, then work 6 increases. Increase means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Now work one single crochet first. Then work one more single crochet in the same stitch. That's one increase. Place a locking stitch marker in the first single crochet. Continue to finish the remaining 5 increases, which means we need to work 2 single crochets in each of the following stitches. There will be 6 increases in total in round 2. Six increases are finished. Work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Round two is done. In round three, start with one chain stitch, then work a set of one single crochet, one increase for six times. One chain stitch first. 
In the first stitch, we work one single crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. Now, once it is done, we work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Finish five more sets. After one single crochet, we work one increase. Continue to repeat this set of one single crochet when increase until you finish this round. Now the last set, one single crochet first, next one increase. Finally, work one slip stitch in the first stitch to join this round. Stretch the loop and remove the hook. Break yarn and pull the yarn tight. Remove the marker. Now we use the yarn needle to weave in end like this. Tie a knot with the yarn tails. Finally, cut off excess yarn tails. The calyx is done. Use brown yarn to crochet a flower core in the same way. 